In this video, we will be discussing how to calculate the volume of a pyramid and the volume of a cone. To calculate out the volume of a pyramid, we're going to take the area of the base, multiply it by the height, and then divide that by 3. So notice that the area of the base times the height, that's how we calculated out the volume of a prism. Now a cone with the same base and the same height as a prism will have exactly one third of its volume. Similarly, same thing for a cone. We're going to take the area of the base, multiply it by the height of that cone, and then divide that answer by three. Now recall that the height of a pyramid, it comes from that vertex and it goes to the center of the base. And then the slant height is the height of one of the faces of the pyramid. So this would be our slant height. Same thing with the cone. The height comes from the vertex and goes to the very center of the base. And then the slant height is the one on the side of that right triangle. So let's go ahead and try some examples using these volume formulas. In example one, it says find the volume of a square pyramid. So to find the volume of this pyramid, I'm going to use that formula, area of the base times the height, and then divide that by three. To calculate the area of a base, since it says it is a square-based pyramid, I'm going to use side squared to calculate out that area. I know the side of my base is 12, and 12 squared is 144. So I have 144, and then I'm going to multiply that by the height, which is 5, and divide my final answer by 3. So the final answer for the volume of this pyramid is 240 units cubed. Now let's move on and flip to the back to try some other examples. In example two, we have a cone. So to calculate the volume of the cone, I'm going to take the area of the base times the height, divide it by three. To calculate out the area of the base, since it's a circle, I'm going to use my circle formula, pi r squared. I know the radius is 16. So I need to square 16 to get 256 pi is the area of my base. So I have 256 pi as the area of the base. Now the height of my cone is not given, but I noticed that this is a triple because 16 is the same thing as two times eight. 34 is the same thing as two times 17. So recall back to chapter nine, one of my triples is eight, 15, 17. So I have to do 15 times two to get my height of my cone, which is 30 and then I'm going to divide that by 3 to get my final answer for the volume of this cone to be 2,560 pi units cubed. Now, example 3, this particular shape is called a frustum. Now, what exactly is a frustum? A frustum is a cone that has had the top part of it removed. So to calculate the volume of a frustum, we're going to take the volume of the large cone and subtract the volume of the small cone. The small cone is the piece that has been removed. So let me highlight that here. So this was not there. I had to add the small cone. So we're going to find the volume of the large cone. So first I need to draw in that height of that large cone. And to figure out the height of the two cones, I need to set up a proportion. So first, I'm going to find the slant height of the small cone. So let's call that x. And notice that I have two similar right triangles. 
So here is the first one I'm going to highlight here in blue. Okay, this is one right triangle. And then the other right triangle I'm going to highlight in green, the larger right triangle. I'm sorry, it's a little bit sloppy. But if I go ahead and I set up a proportion, I know that 12 corresponds to 15 in the large right triangle. So therefore, x corresponds to this entire side in the large right triangle, which would be x plus 5. Now if I go ahead and I cross product here, I get 12x plus 60 is equal to, the cross product over here is 15x. So if I go ahead and I solve this equation for x, I'm going to subtract 12x, I get 60 equals 3x. So therefore, if I divide by 3, x has to be 20. Now that I have this slant height, I can use this to help me find the height of my two cones. So the height of the smaller cone, notice this is a triple. It's going to be a 3, 4, 5 triple. So my height of my smaller cone has to be 9. The height of the largest cone, notice this side now has to be 25. So again, it's a 3, 4, 5 triple. So the height of my larger cone has to be 20. So to calculate the volume of the large cone, I'm going to use the area of the base times the height. The area of the large base, this base here, is going to be equal to 200 and 25 pi times the height of the large cone, which was 20. And then I'm going to divide that answer by 3. To calculate out the volume of the small cone, I'm going to use the area of the base times the height. So the area of the smaller cone's base is equal to 144 pi times its height, which we found was 9, and then I'm going to divide that by 3. So if I simplify the volume of the larger cone, I get 1,500 pi, and the volume of the smaller cone is equal to 432 pi. Now when I go to subtract these two, the final answer for the volume of the frostum is equal to 1,068 pi units cubed. So we'll do some more practice examples with finding the volume of a frustum because I know that that's a little bit com more complicated than the others. But anytime you're finding the volume of a frustum, you find you add that missing piece of the cone and you take the volume of the large cone and you subtract the volume of the small cone that has been removed. And that's always the formula that you would use to calculate the volume of a frustum. Okay, the last example is a composite figure, and it asks us to find the volume of a cylinder with a cone attached to it. So to find the volume of this figure, we're going to find the volume of the cylinder, and we're going to add the volume of the cone. So the formula to calculate the volume of the cylinder is equal to the area of the base times the height. Now, I need to find the radius of the base before I can find this volume. So notice, I, if this is 16, that's equal to the diameter of my base, so I know the radius must be exactly half of 16. So that's why I get 8. So therefore, the area of the base would be equal to 64 pi. Next, I need to find the height of the cylinder, since that was not given. Before I can find the height of the cylinder, I need to find the height of my cone. And I notice this is a triple. If I have 8 and 10, the height of my cone must be 6, because it is a 3, 4, 5 triple. Since this piece here, from here to here, is equal to 6, and this whole thing is 15, then I would subtract these two numbers to get the height of my cylinder, which is 9. 
So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by 9 to get my final answer for the volume of the cylinder to be equal to 576 pi. To find the volume of the cone, I'm going to use that formula, the area of the base times the height, and then divide that by 3. Now I already know the area of the base is 64 pi. The height of my cone I just found was 6, and then I'm going to divide that by 3. So when I simplify this, I get 128 pi as the volume of my cone. Now to find the volume of the entire thing, I'm going to add 576 plus 128 to get 704 pi units cubed as the volume of this composite figure. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to apply the volume of a cone and the volume of a pyramid formula.